Have you ever wondered why we suffer? Why, despite all our efforts, we still feel restless and incomplete? What if I tell you that true freedom lies not in fighting your circumstances, but in embracing them? Dear Seekers, Acceptance is like the gentle embrace of the river, which welcomes every leaf and twig without judgment, without resistance. Walking the spiritual path means embracing acceptance and letting it unfold naturally. Without this acceptance, you cannot discover your divine infinite nature beyond the body-mind complex. Today, let me invite you on a journey to discover this essential truth. And it is a journey that will reveal the profound power of acceptance in transforming your lives. Let us begin with a beautiful story from Buddha's life. Once a disciple came to Buddha. He was full of frustration and anger. He said to him, Master, I have been meditating for years, but still my mind remains restless. I still feel anger, fear and doubt. Buddha looked at him, smiled softly and replied, Accept. The disciple got confused and asked, Accept what? Buddha said, Accept your anger, accept your fear and accept your doubt. Now, this was not an answer the disciple expected. He had hoped that Buddha would give him a mantra or a technique to eliminate his troubling emotions. But instead, Buddha gave him a more profound teaching, which is acceptance. To accept is to let go of resistance. Resistance keeps you bound to the body and mind, thereby locking you into cycles of suffering and identification with what is fleeting. When you resist fear, you give it power. When you resist pain, you simply increase it. Buddha taught that acceptance brings about a profound transformation. The moment you accept, fear loses its grip. It becomes like a passing cloud in the sky of your consciousness. Acceptance shifts your relationship with the mind. At first, letting go of resistance may seem difficult, but with time, you begin to notice subtle changes. You become the witness instead of the slave. With acceptance, the mind calms down and the restless waves of thoughts begin to settle. This process is about recognizing each thought and each emotion without judgment and letting them pass naturally rather than clinging to or battling with them. In this state of calm, dear seekers, you become fully present and in that presence you simply glimpse your divine, conscious, infinite nature. And remember, the quieter the mind becomes, the more deeply you connect with your true essence. Instead of being overwhelmed by every thought or emotion, you begin to observe them with detachment. This shift enables you to respond to life's challenges with clarity and composure rather than reacting impulsively. The mind becomes a tool, it is no longer the master, and you find yourself experiencing greater peace and freedom in everyday life. Do you see the beauty of this? It is only through acceptance that your perspective shifts from being the experiencer of suffering to being the observer of experience. Suddenly, you find yourself no longer confined to the body-mind complex, but as something beyond, something 
vast and infinite. Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says, The self is neither born nor does it die. It is eternal and indestructible. But how can one realize this self if one is constantly at war with what is? Acceptance is the bridge, dear seekers, that leads you from the mind to the divine consciousness that you are. Through unconditional acceptance, you become absolutely present, fully aware of the moment, and in that state of presence, you connect deeply with your infinite divine nature. Now here, I want to clarify one thing. Acceptance does not at all mean that you approve of everything that happens, nor does it mean you become passive in life. Instead, it means recognizing what is while actively choosing how to respond. Acceptance allows you to act from a place of peace and clarity rather than from resistance or fear. It is an active surrender. It is a deep trust in the flow of existence combined with mindful action. You do not resist what is, but respond with clarity rather than reacting from fear or anger. Imagine a tree in a storm. If it refuses to bend, it breaks. But the bamboo with its strength and flexibility bends with the wind and survives the storm. Remember this, dear seekers, that acceptance is not resignation. It is not helplessness. It is the wisdom to see that life flows beyond your limited understanding, that what happens is neither good nor bad. It simply is. Resistance comes from the ego's desire to control existence. The ego fears the unknown. And anything that it cannot comprehend, it tries to reject or reshape. But the divine, your true nature, is beyond this control. It is infinite like the sky in which clouds may come and go, but the sky remains untouched. The Upanishads call this the Akash, the vast infinite space in which all things exist. If you are constantly battling every passing cloud, how can you ever come to know the vastness of the sky itself? Let me share another beautiful story with you to illustrate this point. There was once a Zen monk named Ryokan who lived a simple life in a small hut. One night, a thief broke into his hut only to find that there was nothing to steal. Ryokan returned home and caught the thief in the act. Instead of getting angry, Ryokan said, You have come a long way to visit me and you should not leave empty-handed. Please take my clothes as a gift. The thief was bewildered but took the clothes and left. Ryokan then sat naked watching the moon through his window and said to himself, Poor fellow! I wish I could have given him this beautiful moon. This is acceptance in its purest form, dear seekers, because there is no resistance in it. There is no judgment in it. It is just a profound understanding of the nature of existence. To accept means to let go of the illusion that you are in full control of everything. Krishna in Gita says, all actions are driven by the forces of nature, but the ego thinks I am the one doing everything. Acceptance means understanding that there are many factors at play and your role is to observe and respond with clarity rather than trying to control every outcome. It means you allow your body to experience pain, you allow your mind to experience emotions while staying rooted in the awareness that you are not defined by them. 
you are the consciousness that observes all experiences without attachment now there is another beautiful story from buddha's life which shows the power of acceptance once buddha was approached by a grieving woman named kisa gotmi her only child had passed away and she was overwhelmed by sorrow unable to accept her loss she came to buddha begging him to bring her child back to life buddha seeing her suffering told her all right i will bring your child back to life but there is one condition you need to go into the village and bring me a mustard seed from a household that has never known death hearing buddha's words kisa got me his heart became filled with hope she then went from house to house asking for the mustard seed but every home she visited had experienced death each family had lost someone dear slowly she realized that death was a universal truth it was a part of life that touched everyone returning to buddha she understood that her grief was not unique and in accepting the inevitable nature of death her suffering began to ease buddha then said to her acceptance is the path to peace only by accepting what is can you transcend sorrow through this profound lesson kisa got me experienced deep peace in her heart and she experienced it not by changing her circumstances but by changing her relationship with them so this is the power of acceptance it allows you to transform suffering into understanding and it then reveals your true boundless divine consciousness dear seekers acceptance is the gateway to transformation the moment you accept something you're no longer in conflict with it and when there is no conflict there is peace and in that peace the true self can be experienced this is why the great masters have always emphasized acceptance as the foundation of a spiritual life you must accept your flaws you must accept your imperfections your humanity because only then can you transcend them it is like a snake shedding its old skin the snake does not fight the old skin it allows it to peel away naturally revealing the new fresh skin underneath and so dear seekers meditate upon this power of acceptance sit silently and watch your thoughts your emotions and your desires do not push them away do not cling to them just watch just accept slowly you will begin to feel a distance you will experience a separation between you and what you observe this distance is the beginning of freedom this distance is a doorway to your infinite nature where there is no beginning no end no birth no death but only pure being let this acceptance be the key that unlocks the door to your divine infinite nature so dear seekers accept and discover who you truly are accept your joys and sorrows accept your successes and failures accept every part of your journey and realize that it is all a part of the divine play when you accept you align yourself with the cosmic flow and in that alignment there is grace there is peace and there is the realization of your own infinite divine nature acceptance is not just a practice it is the very essence of spiritual life so embrace it and you will find the entire universe embracing you back